Oh my God. Dude, that's a big in on a jerk bait, dude. Yo, what's poppin' boys and girls, ladies and gents? Welcome back to another episode of Kicking the Bass TV. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. If you guys are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also the like button. If you guys have been enjoying the content, today we're gonna be fishing with big worms and on the hunt to catch some big bass. We're out here on the Ogeechee River. You know, we normally come out here, we throw a lot of chatter baits, spinner baits, crank baits, buzz baits, and a lot of soft plastics. But when it comes down to the soft plastic baits, we're usually throwing like a rage crawl we're throwing some either smaller finesse worms, but we rarely come out here and fish big worms. So our goal today is to throw that big worm around and see if it's gonna up our chance in catching some bigger bass out here on the Geechee. With my experience with throwing a big worm, I tend to catch small fish, just some regular size fish, some big bass as well. Really anything you wanna catch will eat that big worm. But I actually stopped by Bass Pro because I was low on stock on some big worms, picked up a few packs and also a little secret in here as well. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and rig up, get everything. I'm gonna show you guys the baits that we have. We're gonna get out here on this river and see if we can catch some fish. Let me know if you guys wanna see anything in particular out here on the rivers. If you guys have a certain video or certain bait you guys wanna see me throw out here, please comment that down below. All right, the combo that I'm gonna be using today is this Custom Pro. I have 17 pound fluorocarbon. This is actually on my Mock Crush. Seven foot medium heavy fast action. Um, that's usually what I use for my little Texas rigs, bottom baits. I cut a little bit of this line off. I do have a couple frays. I'll show you guys the rig that we're gonna be working with. So he's got a quarter ounce of bullet weight right here. This is actually 3 8 ounce bullet weight. We're gonna go ahead and load her on the line. What I will say, we're not pegging this. I know a lot of people ask me about that. I feel as if when I'm fishing in current, I feel when you don't peg it, the bait looks more natural. You know, if you have that peg on that bait, it's not gonna look natural in that water when the water's moving, but when you're in that current and you don't have that pegged and you have that weight free, the bait tends to flow more natural with the current. And in my opinion, you'll end up getting more bites. So that's something to think about, especially when you're fishing in current, don't peg that bait, you know, try it without a peg. I can almost promise you, you'll end up getting some more bites. We're putting this on, we got a four aught extra wide gap hook. She was slightly bent out because I caught a mudfish the other day on her and kind of straightened it. And we're going to tie this on with a uni knot. Boom. And now let's go ahead and pull out the stuff that I got at Bass Pro earlier. So I wish I had some Strike King bullworms or maybe some big anacondas because that would be a really cool video. Maybe we'll do that on the next big worm video. But by the way, if you want to get a discount on any of the rods and Strike King baits that I use, I'll have a link down below with the discount code. So the water that we're fishing today is tannic water out here on the Ogeechee. Um, it's fairly clear, but it's got that brown tint to it. So you can get away with your naturals, your like green pumpkins but you can also go with your darker colors, like your June bugs, your black and reds, your black and blues. So what I bought today is I bought a black and red old monster. Also got a June bug old monster. And then the last one, I actually got green pumpkin. And I got a little secret. I actually got some of this spike it um, chartreuse dye right here, but this is actually the marker. I've had a lot of people asking me about this and people are like, hey, do you use any of the dye? Um, for your baits. I don't use any of the dye because let me tell you why. There's little cans that you get and you dip your baits in and it dyes the tail chartreuse or orange or whatever it is. If you spill that stuff on your carpet in your boat or in your fishing bag or in your truck, you will never get that out. It's the smelliest, stinkiest stuff. So I tend to just buy the markers. It's very clean and simple. So I'm gonna use that on this green pumpkin worm right here. What I usually do is I just lay the bait on the bag I'm gonna dye just the tail. So I'm gonna get my marker. And I just got it on my hand already. That's what I'm saying. This stuff's messy. 
Does not smell the best. You want to smell it, Cody? Mm. Take a little sniff. Ooh. That stuff's gnarly, ain't yeah. it? Yeah. So we're going to take this. It's like a little Sharpie. We're going to color one side of this tail. What I found out on this river is, you know, we've used a lot of baits with, uh, whether it's chartreuse tails or like blue chartreuse, or uh, I mean blue on the bottom, or even red tails. I seem to catch a lot of fish on that. So we're gonna try it out today. I haven't done this in a minute. So yeah, we just died the end of that sucker. Right there. So we just got about an inch and a half, maybe two inches of the worm and chartreuse. And we're gonna see today if that's gonna increase our bite ratio which I'm very interested in. And you guys know, you know, I love fishing big worms. I primarily fish them in the summer. You know, a big worm's a great bait, but usually when I fish a big worm is out on ledges, is out in deep water um, with some of the lakes that I fish. But with us being out on the river today, very shallow water, heavy current, I'm curious to see how this worm performs. Um, but the one thing that I like about this, rather than just this regular trick worm, is it has this rib tail at the end. You know, it's got this curly tail. This is gonna add a lot of extra movement. It's got these pressure points, so when the water hits the tail, it's gonna flutter and it's gonna move. So, especially when fishing in this current, these baits can go past these fish's face so quick. I kinda like something with a little bit of movement, like this and the rage curl. And those little crawls, they flutter a lot. And I just think that's better than that's, that slower presentation on certain days. And when you rig this sucker up, make sure she's straight. You know, I see this a lot. Make sure you have that bait on there straight. That's going to give it the most natural presentation. So we're going to go ahead and get started. See if we can catch some fish today. I think we're going to get on them really quick. We got the tide right today. The water's looking good. And I think we're going to catch about five fish in the first 10 minutes. So let's go ahead and get this started. Thank you so much for the support. Let's run it. All right, we're going to get this started. Biggest thing that we're fishing today, um, this is how we're going tide right now. We got all this current flowing in. I'm going to tell you these fish, they are in position in these little tiny current breaks. You can see these little end divots on the bank. A lot of those fish that sit there. And another thing you got to pay attention to is a lot of this wood. So you got to make sure this wood and this vegetation and also these little divots in the bank. That's usually the money on where those fish are going to sit. But there should be one about right here. It's the first cast of the day. Let's see if we can get one right off the rip. That would be pretty crazy. I'm just hoping they eat this big worm. I haven't thrown anything like this out here. You know, when it comes to the Savannah River and these other river systems, I've thrown it a lot. But when it comes out to the Ogeechee, I've, I've stuck to a rage crawl and a finesse worm if I'm throwing soft plastics. That might be a good one, boys. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's what we want, baby. That's a fat, healthy, beautiful one. Oh my God. This is a good one, boys. Mm. Oh my gosh. First fish today. Solid two pound Geechee, beautiful fish. Oh man, look at how he ate that sucker too. He didn't eat it all the way in the back of his throat. But that was a good bite right there. And to start off with a brute like that on today's video, that's exactly why we fish with big worms is to catch some good ones like that. That is a chunky fish right there. And look at the markings on him. That's beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Perfect skip up on that bank and he was sitting there. We're gonna put him back in the water. And the thing is without on these rivers, a lot of these fish stack up on each other. I believe we'll be able to catch a lot of fish in that same spot. That's a pretty one. Thank you, baby. It's a good fish. Straight brute. Ain't that a way to start off the video, guys? How, how quick is that, Cody? Two minutes into yeah. the day? I mean, we threw a few casts right here, but you know, we worked a little bit up. I skipped this worm perfectly up in that shade. Not only was there shade, there was a perfect current break and there was a big stump. So what happens is all this current, say this is the stump, all this current's coming this way, right? These fish are gonna be sitting on that back end of the stump, right in that break. And that's exactly where that bass was. It was a great mixture of vegetation, some wood, and also some shade. This is prime. I think we're gonna be able to catch another fish right here. So let's, uh, let's get on up here. I'm gonna skip this worm up there again and maybe he has a friend that's twice his size. Holy cow. 
<laughs> Look at that. Barely got that tail. He just ate that chartreuse off of it. Throw it back in there. Right. Oh my God. <laughs> it's not a big one. She acted huge. Oh my gosh, she acted big. She wanted it. Thank you, buddy. Look at that, pretty bass. Not a big one by any means, but that's such a, that's the cool thing about fishing a big worm. You know, I know you really want to catch those big ones, but those small ones that eat it too, it's kind of crazy. Let's throw a cast in that same spot. That might've been a different fish in that current break. There's another one. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you guys, they ain't big, but that is fun right there, man. That is fun. Fish number three already. What are we, five minutes into this, Cody? Yep. I think we're on a good little start. Five minutes in, three fish. One of them was a pretty good one. We got two small ones after that, but we gotta weave through some of these small fish to catch the big one, so let's keep it going. This is crazy. That's a better one. Oh yeah, that's a better one. Look at that one. That is a fat little brute. Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> that is a fatty. You gotta love catching them like that. That was the next cast and you got this fat guy. If we were fishing a tournament, I'm telling you, we'd have a limit in the first five, 10 minutes. That's crazy right there. Thank you, baby. That is a good fish. Can we catch one on the third, three casts in a row? They're stacked right there. What I'm doing is I'm throwing that bait up there. You got like this little grass patch. Right on the back end of it, there's a slight current break and you got these little divots in the bank. So what I'm doing, casting that bank right up there, or casting that bait right up there. And I'm letting the current take it down. I got another one. And I'm naturally, this is why it's important that I didn't peg this bullet weight. I'm letting this bait naturally flow with that current. When you got that weight that's not pegged, it's just gonna look so natural. And you can tell these fish is, I mean, they're just gonna munch it up. I do wanna say, you know, this big worm with the tail fluttering has something to do with us catching a lot of these fish. I think this bait and when the current hits this, when it has any water pressure on that tail, that thing is fluttering so good in the water. And I also want to say that this tail's helping out with the bite as well. You know, I think doing that, just showing them something different. And I mean, just the way that this bait, I don't know if you guys can see that, but the way this bait is fluttering in this water and the way that that tail moves, even when the bait falls, when the current hits it, when it's moving, it's just ridiculous. These fish cannot hold out. They just can't keep it out of their mouth. Cool thing about spots like this, they keep replenishing too, you know. We're not gonna throw 100 casts and catch 100 fish, but we might throw 300 casts and catch 100 fish. You know, it's you gotta give them time to load up on that stuff. Like we might've just caught all those fish that were right there. Give it about 10, 15 minutes more fish to stack up on that as long as this water keeps moving in. He ate it off the bank, bro. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. He ate it almost at the boat and he got me clean. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. So since we've been trying that green pumpkin with the chartreuse, let's put on a June bug and see one if we get more bites or maybe they just won't even touch it. You know, maybe it's that we have that natural color on with that chartreuse and that's what they're wanting. But let's try this darker water color. I mean, we've had a ton of bites right here. Let's see if we can get some more. That's a good one. Look at that one right there. That's our first one on the June bug and that's a beautiful fish. You already destroyed that worm. <laughs> He's got me, don't he? 
you little smart guy. These fish are so fat, man. This one's got a beautiful go gold glow to them as well. We've already caught like five fish, six fish, and 10 minutes that we've been out here just fishing one of these natural spots. Beautiful bass. We need something bigger than that though, but that's still a healthy one to catch. Thank you, baby. I feel like I'm just fishing a dang aquarium, honestly. People want to say, you know, pond fishing is like fishing in a bucket, but dude, this is, this is crazy. This is easier than some of the pond fishing we do. I'm going to tell you the pond, well, the pond fishing just in the summertime can get rough, like, which I love being on the boat more than anything, but like this right here, you find stuff like this, man. Oh man. This is the toughest time of the year to fish too. And that's just a fact. When you find them like this, <laughs> that's crazy. Dude, they're sitting off on that. Like, I'm not getting any bites up in that now. I'm getting, like, right there. He broke me off. Completely? <laughs> Dude, I can't throw a cast without something. Yes, look at that. Oh, right in his nose too. Right in the nose. Oh my God. You gonna believe this one? What? That's my hook, bro. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> what? Yes. <laughs> this That's is the, the that fish is. that I just broke off, baby. That's like a one in a million fish catch right there, boy. <laughs> look at that. Perfectly good hook. I just tied her on about five minutes ago. Is that not the craziest thing you've seen? Yeah, that's... Bro, this is the best day. Let me tell you guys, this is the best day of big worm fishing I've ever had. We haven't caught like a mo bunch of just giant ones, but just as far as the fish that we've caught in the time that we've caught them, like we've been fishing for 15 minutes, we've caught like almost 10 fish. Like, <laughs> this is just unbelievable. And then I just catch the bass that I broke off. What a way to catch one. Dude, that's wild. Give me some on that one. <laughs> Catch the same dang fish. What in the world? Oh my gosh. Oh, it came off. That was the next cast. <laughs> this is so... This is crazy, guys. I'm having so much fun right now. This is why you gotta love fishing. I'm gonna tell you, it can be tough sometimes. You can go out in the water and it can just be a struggle and get you all upset, but... Then you come out and you have days like this and this just reminds you why you enjoy fishing so much. I mean, these fish just won't stop biting the dang bait. But we found this spot. I mean, this is a great little spot that we figured out. And this is all a timing thing. Like we timed this correctly. If we would have came out two hours prior to this or two hours after, we wouldn't have had these bites. So there's, there's a strategic way and there's a reason why we're getting this many bites. It's not because we lucked into them. It's none of that. These fish are here. I mean, we haven't moved spots the whole time we've been fishing. Did you even think that they would sit on this? I guess they do. That's a bass. Look at that one. That's a good one. Good job. As that was coming out of my mouth. You, you would think they sit. You think there. they sit right there. That's a pretty one. That's a pretty one. Nice. Hey, look at his markings. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. Not a big one, but nice. One. I got him. Oh my god. What? There he is. Dude, what in the mess are you doing, son? He's right here. Right where I just cast it. Let that thing hit, he'll eat it. Like right there. That's a nice little bass. <laughs> Well, this was a stubborn little bass, but he ate it. It's a pretty little guy. It's so fat and junky. Not big, but dude, it took me like three or four casts to catch that fish. He's just being stubborn. <laughs> He's a little aggressive one. You got him that time. Oh, it's a bass. There you go. 
He ain't big, but he's something, ain't he? Yeah. That's a pretty They're one. Not big, but. Yeah. Got a little indention on him. Yeah. That's a good one, bro. <laughs> Dude, that's a good one. Yeah, that's wild. That's so funny. He ate it right away. He's fat. He ate it good. One of the best eats today. There we go. Pretty one. It's thick and chunky. Nothing big, but thick and chunky. Gotta enjoy it. Uh oh. Cody, that might be a big one. Oh no, it's a, it's a good one. Oh, it's a good one. Look at that one. That's a, nice one <laughs> That's a brute. Dude, these fish are just so fat. They are loving this big worm, guys. I think we found something else out for this river. You know, that was the main thing today to see if we can get better bites. And we've had a lot of good fish today. Nothing giant, like no four plus pounders, but we've had a bunch of them solid high two numbers, fat as can be, and then some fat ones like this. <laughs> That's a pretty fish. That's a lot of fun. These fish fight so good too. I thought he was a really big one. Huh? Dude, that's a big one on a jerk bait, dude. Oh my gosh. Yo, his first catch. <laughs> Look at that one. Dude, what? Yo. That's a freaking tank of an Ogeechee bass right there, dude. My first time picking up a random bait today first cast and i catch one that's a high two pounder like if he was a little bit longer he would be three dude, <laughs> what nice on a jerk bait dude that was such a cool catch thank you baby that's a good fish dude <laughs> does that mean that that's how you get the bigger ones to bite you know <sighs> cody He's chasing me right now. He just slammed it. Watch this. He's had it. Oh my God. I'm freaking out, bro. I'm losing my marbles. I'm losing it. Second cast on the jerk bait, got another one, or actually third cast. The second cast I had a bite, but he didn't eat it. All right, watch this, here. Oh, dude, they're, <laughs> they're, they're eating it. It's just, they're not like getting it all the way in their mouth. They're biting me almost every cast. There he is. That's a good one. Look at that pretty fish. <laughs> Catch them on a the jerk bait and current on the river. You gotta love it. Let me ask you guys this. What do you think that's from? Look at that, dude. Almost looks like a claw mark, don't it? Yeah. It's very interesting. Beautiful fish on that jerk bait right there. <laughs> so much fun. Well, we just got off the water and guys, this was one of the craziest days I've ever had on the water. It was so much fun. We caught so many fish. You guys only saw about, I wouldn't say half the catches, but you guys only saw a majority of the catches today. We caught a ton more on a jerk bait towards the end of the day. And it was just insane. I mean, we had an incredible day. And the cool part is you guys ended off right when the jerk bait bite started picking up. And I'm gonna tell you almost every bite that I had on that jerk bait was a dang good one, like good fish. And uh, it was just overall a blast and we had a great time. 
If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you guys want to see some more content like this, let me know down below. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I love you guys so much, and I'll catch you all in the next video.